Today the topic of discussion is in tree data structure we will study avial tree insertion that is we will study the question on avial tree insertion which is very important. So, so and if I tell you what we have done earlier we have seen in a video that what is avial tree that is we have seen the introduction part. So, in a one video we have discussed about what is avial tree, why avial tree is required, what was wrong with BST, what is balance factor and what is the full form of avial tree, um, why avial tree came to market. So, we have understood all those concepts in one video which is called avial tree introduction and then we have seen avial tree rotation avial tree rotation and in avial tree rotation we have seen four rotations with the four rotation were ll rotation rr rotation lr rotation and rl rotation we have seen this four rotation and finally today we'll understand avial tree insertion so if i tell you if i tell you if you're directly coming and watching this video i must say that in order to insert element in what avial tree you must have a concept of avial tree rotation so i request you to kindly watch these two, two videos so that this part become easy for you so let's start with avial tree introduction uh, insertion so here you have a question that construct an avial tree having following element that you need to insert these element in an avial tree so let's start with a uh, and you know that what is avial tree avial tree is a bst avial tree is a binary search tree so let's start with first element the first element is h i inserted h the moment you insert a node you just count the balance factor and you know what is balance factor balance factor is what height of left subtree height of left subtree minus height of right subtree fine okay so if you have inserted this is the balance factor so if you have inserted h what is left subtree of h no zero height right zero so balance factor is zero and is this a avial tree yes because avial tree is a tree which is whose balance factor of every node is either zero one or minus one since zero is the part of this three so it is an avial tree then what come i what what is i e f g h i i is greater than h it will come to the right of h so i came here now again calculate the balance factor so what is balance factor of h left minus right left is zero right is one so zero minus one will be what minus one so this will be minus one and this will be zero fine so still this tree is avial tree fine then we have inserted h we have inserted i now we have to insert j then h i j where j will come here now again calculate the balance factor of every node so h balance factor will be what zero and zero one two so zero minus two will be what minus 2 so balance factor of h i am directly writing this will be minus 2 this will be minus 1 and this will be 0 now is this tree is a uh, now is this tree a avial tree no this tree is not a avial tree because the balance factor of node h is not lying in this neither it is 0 1 and minus. It, is, it is other than 0 1 and minus 1 so this tree is not uh, avial tree and then we have to what we have to rotate and which rotation it will take place because insertion is taking place in the right of right that it is it is right right rotation it is rr rotation fine so what is rr rotation in rr rotation what you do i have already explained you just below just below the node whose balance vector is destroyed is 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 not according to avial tree just below that uh, note you know just uh, rotate it anti-clockwise why anti-clockwise because rr is anti-clockwise rotation rr is anti-clockwise rotation the moment you will rotate this so the, it is rr so it it will become i will come up fine okay then h will come here fine and then j will come here still this is a binary search tree because the the smaller part which is uh, smaller than i is in the left and uh, the the element which is greater than uh, i is j which is on right of uh, uh, i fine okay now calculate the balance factor 0 0 and 0 now after rotation this tree is balanced and this is now avial tree now now we have to insert b where b will come i is b is smaller than i it will come to the left then it will be compared with h b is compared with h and b is less than so b will come here fine okay now again calculate the balance factor of every node so this is 0 1 2 this is 2 minus 1 this will become 1 and this will be 1 minus 0 this will be 1 this is 0 and this is 0 after insertion inserting b this tree is still avial tree now insert a the moment you insert a a will come here fine because a will be compared it's, it's smaller it will come here it's smaller it will come here it's smaller it will come here to the left now again calculate the balance factor of every node fine okay now balance factor of i will be what 2 calculate it 0 1 2 3 3 minus 1 is 2 balance factor of h will be again 2 this will be 1 and this will be 0 now you have 
two nodes having balance factor other than 0, 1 and minus 1. So you might be confused to which node you have to consider. So always consider from insertion side. So when you have inserted a node, you have inserted node A. So always go from insertion side and see the first plus 2 and minus 2. The, plus two, the first plus 2 and minus 2 you are getting on node H. So your tree of consideration will be this much only. Your tree of consideration will be this much only. You have to consider over this tree only. Now, if you see this tree, what is uh, what 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 affecting this tree is uh, this node A and this there will be a rotation. Which rotation? This rotation is in left of left. So there will be LL rotation. So what I'll do? I'll put LL rotation. So I will remain intact. I will be remained like that. J will be remained like that. And what is LL rotation? LL rotation is clockwise. So when you, you know move this part clockwise, what will happen? Uh, this B will come up. H will go down. H will go down. And then A will come like this. Fine. So after insertion of node A, your tree has become, after LL rotation, your tree has become like this. Now again, calculate the balance factor. So balance factor of this will be 1. This will be 0. This will be 0. This will be 0. And this will be 0. So after LL rotation, now your tree is balanced. And is it balance factor of this tree is uh, according to AVL tree. So this is tree is till now avl so now you have uh, another element which is still need to be inserted which is e now insert e e is smaller than i you come left e is greater than b you come right e, then you come to node h then h e is smaller than h e will come here fine now again calculate the balance factor of every node so balance factor of this node will be 0 1 2 3 because maximum you can go to the leaf is 3 and 3 minus 1 will become what 2 calculate the balance factor of b now this is 1 and this is 2 so 1 minus 2 will be minus 1 because right side has more length fine this will be 0 fine this will be now 1 and this will be 0 so now what happens this tree after insertion of node e is not balanced there is a node i which is having balance factor 2 which is not acceptable which is not avl now what you will do you have to balance this tree now when you when you will balance this tree you have to rotate now which rotation will take place now if you see e is this a ll rotation is this a straight rotation no is this a this kind of rotation no this rotation is something like this this and this this means that you are inserting in left tree right tree some element that is l r you are inserting in the left of right of an element fine so there is l and r so insertion is in left tree and then right tree of node e then this is an lr rotation so what is lr rotation i just told you i told you in my previous video lr rotation is a double rotation where lr rotation is rr rotation plus ll rotation rr will come first and then ll will come so rr will be on subtree rl will be on subtree and ll will be on full tree so what is subtree if you see the balance factor of which node node i is destroyed the the tree which is just below no the tree which is just below where insertion has taken place will be a subtree now you have to what you have to do a rotation what's your rotation rr rotation on subtree what is rr rotation anti-clockwise what is rr rotation anti-clockwise so let me do a rr rotation so first of all i'll do a rr rotation so the moment i'll do the rr rotation i will remain like that here j will remain like that but but when you rotate this h will come up see see you are rotating you are rotating like this no when you're rotating like this h will come here b will come here a will come here and you have e attached with h so e will come here will e come here no not possible why because e is smaller than h and e cannot come right of h because in bst avl tree is a bst binary search tree a binary search tree is a tree in which every parent is greater than its left child and smaller than its right child but but if you see this this child this child is greater than this child is smaller than its parent it's violating bst so i have to remove this e and find the appropriate place e is smaller than i come here h is e is smaller than h come here and then e is greater than b come here fine is this a final tree no we have just completed only one part 
RR. Still, I have balance vector 2. Now, what we have to do? LL rotation. What is LL rotation on full tree? What is full tree? This I is a full tree. So, just below the node I, that is in the neck of I, you just rotate it what LL. LL is what? Clockwise. No? Clockwise. So, when you rotate it clockwise, what will happen? When you rotate it clockwise, what will happen? H will come up. I will be something like that. J will be something like that. Then there will be a B. Then there will be a, a. And then there will be a E. Fine. This is E. Let me make it clearly. This is E. Fine. So is this tree balanced? Now we have done RR. Then we have done LL. Is tree balanced? Let's calculate the balance factor. 0, 1, 2 and 0, 1, 2. 0, 0, 0, 0. Uh, minus 1 and 0. So balance vector of every node is either 0, 1 and minus 1. Therefore, this tree now has become what? AVL. Still, we have two more element to be inserted. We have C. So where C will come? H, C is smaller than H will come here. C is greater than B will come here. C is smaller than what? E will come here. No, C will come here. Now again calculate the balance factor. 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. No, this this is the longest path. So when you will come here, so here it will be 3 and here it will be 2. 3 minus 2 will become 1. Fine. Okay. Now calculate the balance factor of this node. This is 1 minus 2. So this will become minus 1 because right side has more element. Now this is 0. Fine. This will become 1 and this will become 0. Again, even after insertion of C, C this node is what? This node is, uh, this tree is balanced. This tree is AVL. Now insert F. So after insertion F, let's see. F, F, H is smaller than, F is smaller than H will come here. F is greater than B will come here. F is greater than E will come here. Now again calculate the balance factor. So 0, 1, 2, 3 or 0, 1, 2, 3. Everywhere you are getting 3. So 3 minus 2, it will remain 1. And calculate the balance factor of this. This is 0, 1, 2. Again, you will have the same balance factor. But now E will have 0 balance factor and this will have 0 balance factor. So what after insertion F also, the tree remained what balanced. Finally, so uh, when af after insertion of F, uh, tree remain balanced. So final tree is, your final tree is this. So if I change the color, uh, this. So let me change the color. So if I say what is your balan balanced final tree, this is the root node has H. Then left of root is B. Then left of B is A. Then right of B is element E. Then left of E is C then right of E is F, then here you have I, and then here you have J, and you have also calculated the balance factor of every node. Let me change the color now. Uh, let me make it black. Uh, so you calculated it as 0, you calculated it as minus 1, you calculated it as uh, 1, then uh, let's make it clear, 1, then you calculated it as minus 1, this is 1 is 0, this one is 0, this one is 0, and this one is 0. So this is final AVL tree. This is final what AVL tree. Fine. So you have started from H and you have moved to this. So hope you have understood what rotation in is and how to insert an element in AVL tree. So the main thing which you have to keep in mind, the moment you insert any node, the moment you insert any node, first calculate the balance factor. If the balance factor is 0, 1 and minus 1, tree is balanced. If balance factor by inserting a node has become other than 0, 1 and minus 1, then see which rotation it should take place. And after rotation, again check the balance factor that by rotating, is my tree become balanced? 100% it will become balanced, but you have to check. Finally, and in that class, you will get the final tree. So this was all about, so this was all about today's lecture. I hope you enjoyed today's lecture. So at last, I'll say thank you so much. At last, uh, this was the part which I have just included uh, for making it uh, use for further, but I have completed in one page only. So